Are we together? It is no news that many people... Let me tell you this. I teach the school of ministry that when it has to do with purity of vessels, there are three kinds of people. Number one, there are those we call the pure breed. Those who sincerely love God and have worked in keeping with the divine patterns that make for the purity of ministry. They have not soiled their hands with divination or any satanic thing. Number two, there are those who are innocent and sincere. Their call is genuine. But wrong mentorship or pressure or ignorance led them to go and fraternize with groups, associations or mentorship platforms that introduce them. So these are people who are not evil. They are only corrupted. Then the third category are people who from the inception, they were not of God. Are we together now? So it is important to create this divide. Do not watch anybody walking supernaturally in the power of God or prophesying or with an unusual dimension of the operation of the Spirit and just brand them and say these are demonic. It is not so. If Jesus were alive and he walked on earth, we would have called him heretic as the scribes did. Are we together? Look at the many things Jesus did. He spat on the ground. Would you sit down for a man of God, even Jesus Christ? What kind of a Jesus will spit on the ground and rub it on your eyes and say, go to a river? It, does that look like compassion? He didn't even lead me there. And yet the Bible says he leads me beside still waters. Now he's sending me and saying, go by yourself. Are we together? Many times we love Jesus just because he's not here. If he comes to the earth, after one week, many of us will be tired and say, go back. We don't understand you again. But I can tell you the truth. By the authority of scripture and the evidences that scripture show, that there are people who have fraternized with all kinds of dark powers and, and demonic things. Now, let me tell you this. Please look up. In the kingdom... It is not all about results. The pathway that leads to that result is how God is glorified. Not the result in itself. There is a way you can practice healing. Practice deliverance. Practice your faith life. In a way that it is an extra biblical practice. The believer is bound to the provisions that scripture allows. Are we together now? All things are lawful. But the Bible says all things are not expedient. That means to be a sound man of God. It's not about clamoring for acceptance. But it's important to limit your operation ministerially and in any kind of spiritual leadership to the provisions that the Bible allows. Now, the truth is that if you are a man of the Spirit, you are going to be led of the Spirit. And sometimes you will be led of the Spirit in a way that may be strange to the natural man. I must tell you that. But you see, the beautiful thing about the Holy Spirit is that the purity of His leadership to you will be known by those, you are, those that you are manifesting. No matter how strange it is, they will have a witness of the Spirit that you are not acting based on the influence of a spirit of divination. For instance... There is no instant maturity in the Bible. People do not become matured instantly. So for you to be greatly used by God, there must be a track record of growth. Even if you are called into the prophetic and the apostolic ministry, there is no instant maturity. Nobody comes out of nowhere. The Bible is full of the pathway for spiritual growth and manifestation. There must be a track record of growth. And Jesus increased, Luke 2.52, in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and with men. The way we have marketed ministry, especially with the gospel of wealth and abundance, unfortunately, is what has driven Nigeria and even Africa into the search, especially the apostolic and the prophetic. Because they seem to look like the most charismatic of the fivefold. If I say I am an apostle or a prophet and I prophesy, chances are that somebody can give me a car in one day, can give me a building in one day. Are we together? Someone can come to see me, maybe a governor or a president. Man of God, now that is election time, should I go and... Most times the man will not come alone. He may come with honorarium to come and, and, and greet the prophet of God. And that honorarium can be serious. He can carry a man's destiny and give him one day. So, many people because of that, I'm not being sarcastic, many people because of that 
when they fail in every other area of their life, they say, do you know what? This thing, I am tired. Have you noticed that every time there is a corruption in the prophetic, the apostolic, or spiritual leadership, the end result is always money, material things, fame. I want a name. I want everybody to know I am the person. Scene number three. Witchcraft and extra-biblical practices. Right for reference, we may not read it for time. Acts chapter 8 from verse 9 down to 23. You want to enjoy the reading? Read from Amplified. There was a sorcerer called Simeon. When, when Philip went down to Samaria, the Bible says, and he preached Christ to them. And the Bible says, they with one accord gave heed, seeing and hearing the miracles which he did. And there was somebody called Simon. He was a sorcerer. The Bible says he, he made a lot of money. In fact, the people captioned him the great power of God. That was a title they gave him because of the level of his spiritual exploits. His ministry ended when the apostles now started coming there. And the Bible says he was convicted genuinely. He went for Philip's crusade. And when Philip preached, listen carefully, the guy was converted. He was even baptized. So when they sent um, James and John now, and they went there, and he saw that through the laying on of hands, he saw another dimension that was not captured in his practice. That they just laid hands and people were getting free. Do you know what he did? He cornered James and John later, or was it Peter and, and, and John now, and told them, he said, please, I have money. I can give you money. Let me add to this. You see that he was saved, but not transformed. There are many people who are born again, but when the going gets tough, they still attend to all kinds of things. There are believers that still do masquerades. I'm not saying attend the festival. They are the, 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 that, they, they bought the regalia, they have it. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever amen yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever yeshua ah, Yes, you. 